Greetings and salutations, people. So, today is wash day. Oh, today is wash day. Don't mind the blouse. Um, my blouse got like this when I was using the hydro hydrogen peroxide and the basic white to bleach my hair. That's how my blouse comes. So, so now it is. it has become my wash day blouse. So, ignore it. Don't pay it no mind. Anywho, so today I'm gonna wash my hair and yes, on a tart for say wash day hair videos. Wash day hair videos, yes, on a tart to see them. But today I'm going to do another one of my DIYs. <laughs> Funny enough, I see people talk calling this um this DIY the Cardi B um the DIY or whatever them call it. But how did this become Cardi B's? My mother been doing this into my with my ear for my know myself. Uh, my friends, mothers, people are like, how did this become a celebrity? It's like once it's a celebrity do it, or once it's somebody that is not like black black do it, or does it? That's when it gets a buzz to its name. Like, like people, like, anyways. So today I'm gonna to just be using avocado, some mayonnaise, um, olive oil. I'm gonna drop a little bit of, what's that thing called? Lavender oil in there and some honey. No, I don't necessarily need honey, but I'm gonna use little honey, nothing wrong. Um, olive oil, some coconut oil, and uh, I don't know, my, my Jamaican black castor oil is almost finished. So I'm gonna feel like I wanna use it. I don't think I'm gonna put any in there because I wanna I wanna I I wanna save the little tubes that I have <laughs> until I replace the bottle. Um so let's just get to it now. All right, so guys, while I apply the mask to my hair, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. So it can be argued that using natural or raw foods from your kitchen doesn't really help your hair, so to speak, because, and the science behind that um, reasoning, and I can't fight it, it might be true, but I still see results when I use it. So the argument is raw foods when eaten goes through a process in your body before it can then be used to benefit the body how so when you use it when you use, when you're using it on your hair there is no process to break it down to use it for any benefits like i said it can be true because oh it's also argued that the molecules that's where the molecules food molecules are a lot larger than when you use um, pro commercially bought products. And so the hair isn't able to absorb the raw foods easily or at all. However, when I do a DIY, I, my, hair is, my hair feels softer and whatnot. So the truth is you can either buy something from the store or if you're not in the mood, you can just go to your kitchen and blend up some something. It's a win-win either way. It's if for me. But if you're skeptical about using pro products from your kitchen, go ahead and buy. Go and buy a product. It's not it. It's neither here nor there for me, guys. I I will buy. I will go and buy because I just can't be bothered to always be blending stuff. And it might be a little bit more expensive too to be using things from the kitchen. <laughs> Use up your groceries. Anyways, but what I want to focus on while I'm doing this is, oh, look at that, guys. Oh, I'll show you already. What I want to talk about a little bit in this video is um, mayonnaise. So let's talk about mayonnaise and the benefits of mayonnaise, because I don't think I've ever done a video discussing mayonnaise. One, ooh, mayonnaise helps with hair growth. Guys, look at that. Look for my curl, them, how they're coming out. But they look application nice. So what we have to remember, what we need to note is that mayonnaise is mainly or mostly made up of eggs and oil. 
And so, right off the bat, you know that you're getting an, a protein boost just by using the mayonnaise because of the eggs that it contains. And so sometimes you have to be very careful with, with the mayonnaise too because it's made up of oil, mainly oil and eggs. So your hair can probably leave a little bit too oily. I'm just looking at all my curls that are coming through with this mask. Look at that. So, and I made a whole lot so I can like use a whole lot. I'd have to be sparing. Um, it also has a type of amino acid in it. That also helps the hair to grow and strengthen and get thick. Mayonnaise also deep conditions the hair. Like I said, it's packed with a lot of amino acids and fatty acids. And so it will help to deep condition your hair, deep treat your hair and stuff like that. And keep your hair healthy and fresh. And also helps to, it also helps to soften your hair, guys. Guys, look at my hair grow. Jeez. My growth game is up. When I just started YouTube, my hair was nowhere near here. And this is unstretched hair. Wow. So in essence, you know, guys, mayonnaise is kind of a key to conditioning your hair. It's kind of the key to moisturizing your hair, so to speak. Like, I can feel how my hair feels now after a shampoo compared to how it feels after I put a product in. Like, there's such a great difference, guys. And I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. So, anyways. Mayonnaise also helps to hydrate your dry hair. So, if you find that you've been experiencing um, a lot of dryness lately, do a bit of mayonnaise mask. Do a mayonnaise mask. And guys, you don't have to always use avocado. If you don't have avocado or pear, as we call it in Jamaica, you can you can just use the mayonnaise and add a, a few oils to it or whatnot. Or a little bit of conditioner in there. You know, just to help with the consistency. But if you want, you can if you ask me, you can just put it in there raw if you want by itself. But you know, we love mix up, mix up and mix up. If we're not mix up things, we're not feel good in ourselves. Our style that's so the mayonnaise contains um canola oil and soybean oil and egg yolks and vinegar and lemon juice. And so these ingredients when they come together will nourish your hair and your scalp. Mayonnaise is also a good head lice killer or a head lice treatment. It can kill the little pests in your hair. I've never had lice by the way. I've never had lice, but it can kill the lice in your hair and can also relieve your stress from the itching that the lice will give you. So if you're having a lice problem, put some mayonnaise in your hair and on your scalp and, and it will help to kill them. And then, and then because it helps to condition your hair, it makes it easier to comb them out afterwards. So get you some mayonnaise if you have a lice -y. What? Now this one, I don't even I don't know if I'm particularly happy about this one. Um, just for the mirror. All right, so it this one is um it improves our hair's texture. The problem that I have with it is that a lot of black people don't really like the texture of their hair. They don't like the blackness of their hair, so to speak, and so they're always wanting to. And let me say we because it's a community of blacks. We're always seeking to improve our texture or to change our texture to something that we deem is more acceptable or more manageable and whatnot. Um, and a, lot of, a lot of us will say because we want it to be more manageable. And that's just, uh, that's, and it's not really true if, if you're being honest with yourself. Most of the times you just want to have wavy hair. It's not that you want it manageable, but... You just feel like wavy hair is better than coily hair. But anyways, mayonnaise can help to improve your, your texture. As you can see, so my curls, um, when I was over this side, I saw my curls popping out a little bit more than usual. 
um, around here. You see them right there? So it really does help to improve the hair's texture. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't really want to promote that one because for me, it's a lot of people are looking to improve texture because of self-hate or, yeah. What we have to remember is that loose curls does not equate to healthier hair and it does not equate to better hair or the good ear, Becky with the good ear. Can I just be nitty with the good ear? I don't need to be no Becky. Uh, and the last one, so this is, I'm giving you six, six um, benefits of mayonnaise to hear. Whew, so this is number six. I run out of breath while I go, don't even know why. But anyways, it helps to treat dandruff. So if you're suffering from dandruff, you might want to grab yourself some mayonnaise and use it in your hair. So it helps with your, it helps with your dandruff and to relieve your scalp from itching so that's that um it also it has antibacterial properties too so it will help it will definitely help with your dandruff and stuff like that so i'm gonna put the six of them right here to recap so those are the six tips or the six benefits of mayonnaise to hair, to natural hair or to hair period. Because when I had perm here, my mother used to blend up these things for me the same way. So yeah. So this is all talking about improved texture, guys. You see them curls there? My curls, my curls normally come out when I do a, a deep condition, but I'm actually seeing more waves in my hair than, than normally. Um, Yeah. Fun growth. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna insert a picture of sometime last year when I washed my hair. It was probably somewhere right here. Look at this now. This is growth game, guys. So, guys, before I end the video, I wanted to show you all what it looks like after I wash it out. So that's my hair after I wash it out. It's very soft and nice. Uh yeah. So I'm just gonna use my cream of nature, coconut cream, curling cream, and um, seal it with shea butter. And that's that. But my hair is very soft and it's looking healthy, guys. It's looking very healthy, right through. So that's where this video ends. So... Go ahead and use um, a DIY deep conditioner if you want or a DIY mask if you want. Or you can always go to the store and buy. Either way, you're not losing. Uh, so yeah, I will finish up my hair now. And I'll see you in the next video. Guys, remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember guys, like, like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell me something, say something. Let me know, say the devout. And until next time, guys, me and me, you are you. Wow, good. <laughs>